warmest of all welcomes back to the Craig and Greg show. We are, Craig and Greg. we are back. It is season it two. Good. I thought we were going on a hiatus. I possibly up to six months make it a seasonal no. show. People there won't was, allow it. There was too much demand. So we are back. Season two. This season's more of a, a mini series. Like, oh, a, like a docu-series? A docu-drama? Yeah. yeah. A love a, story? Perhaps. Love of your oh, yeah. come on. Love of your car, love of your car, love of your coworkers, Absolutely. love of yourselves. The seasons have changed. We are now into fall. It's autumn. It is autumn. It's quite nice. It's postseason baseball time. Postseason baseball. We got football. It's football. It's what we're here to talk about, though. Cars. Cars and maintenance. maintenance. But before we get into maintenance, we are going to talk about our show sponsors, which are technicians. Mohawk is looking to hire really all the greatest folks in any department, but we are really, really looking for the best technicians out there. We're looking for A techs, join us. B techs, master techs, world class techs. Come Heck, work, join. I would entertain L through maybe P. <laughs> like if you have a letter in front of your name as a technician, we will entertain you at this point. We're looking for the best and the brightest. We have a great team. There's Best. no facilities better than this. I will stand behind State that. A lot of people are like, how often should we see you guys? How often should I get my oil changed? No, All no, these no. questions. What are these services that I should do when I'm coming in routinely? So yeah. I'm going to ask know. you, Craig. We'll bounce things right, off we'll each go other. Back and forth. It's a docu-series. Docu-drama. Education. First off, and we're gonna, we have a, a hood open in case you guys didn't notice. We're going to show you some aspects of the car. How do you check your oil? Let's say you're just an average citizen. Sure. You want to know when you're like, you know what, how do you check my oil? Where do you check your oil? So, first things first, you want to check your oil in the morning, you come out, you want to look at This is going to be your dipstick. It usually has a yellow handle on it. Pull it out. You're going to check the end. There's hash marks in there. That's where your oil level should be. That's the correct area. Bring paper towels with you, everybody. You don't want to get your hands oily. Yeah. You before. definitely want to bring paper towels yeah. with you. Uh, another thing, if you need to add oil. Usually most vehicles have an oil fill cap. It tells you what weight of oil. This one's 5W30. You would add it in through here, put the cap back on. If not, bring it to us. Give us a call. Say, hey, I checked my oil. It feels like it's low. Bring it in. We'll check it. I'd say our most popular appointment is your common run-of-the-mill oil change. Because it gives you a general check over. Right here, we're going to do your MPI. We're going to check the entire vehicle over anyway. It should come with, what's the one thing with every tire? <laughs> I think I might have set that one up. <laughs> with every oil change, we so, recommend a tire, tire rotation. rotation. Which is every, my, every maintenance interval. Oil change, tire rotation, top off your fluids, which is your washer fluid, oil, Engine coolant, check that. Master cylinder, which is your brake fluid. Check the battery. Just give it a once thorough over. How, how often, I get this question a lot, how often should I come in and get my oil changed? Factory recommendation is usually about every 7,500 miles. Um, That's such a fascinating point, because we always, you know, you've been around longer than I have on Earth going back and, and many in the business. Years. <laughs> but what we've, it used to be I mean, 3,000 miles. So some people still get that. People are sometimes floored when we say 7,500 yeah, miles come like, in. But I did mine every three. Times have changed, oils have changed. They're now synthetics. They're lasting longer. I mean, they, they, they go far further than you used to. You're yeah. not damaging anything. And I think there is some value in even the price of an oil change. Yeah. But you get 7,500 miles. So you're not going to see it all. Right. You're not paying $50 for every 3,000 miles. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You're getting that, that length of service in between there. Right. So don't feel like you have to come see us too often. However, if you don't drive high mileage, don't go too long without seeing us. It should be every 7,500 or once a year. If you don't do... So obviously, if you don't do 7,500, you want to come in once a year, that oil is going to break down over time. It absorbs heat, moisture. It, it should get out of there. Okay. No, that's a great point. All right. Well, thanks for joining the beginning of Season 2. Episode 1. Episode 1. We will see you guys soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>